Hey there, Destiny from Suburban Wife City Life, and I am going to show you how to use a pen with Cricut Design Space and writing. So to start, we are going to go ahead and add some text. And I'm just going to go ahead and put in my social handle. And if you're not following along, would love to see you. All right, so I've got my text. As you can see, it's pretty thick. And Cricut has automatically got a design so that it is going to cut first and foremost. But what we want to do is we want to write with it. So I want to change this font. So I go over here to the font. Now Cricut has this great feature of filter. So because I want to write, I can just click, click on the writing and it's going to give me the best fonts for writing. Now I've gone through and I like wildflower. So I am going to go ahead and search that and then it's going to automatically update to wildflower. So this font's a little separated for me. I want to go ahead and connect that a little more. So I am going to shrink my letter space over here to kind of bring it all together. Now you can also, there are other ways to go about this, but for sake of quickness, I'm going to go ahead and do this. Oh, we'll go one more. So now from here, I want to change this from cut to draw. Now, as you can see, it's set up so that it's basically giving me the outline of this. But I don't want the outline. I want it to just write. So over here in style, I'm going to change it from regular to writing. And as you can see, I get that pretty like tech, like handwritten kind of font. So now at this point, I've got the font up here in this box. Now I want to pick the pen I'm going to use. So I'm going to click on this and Cricut gives you all of the different options so that it can show you what it's going to look like. So if I were going to do calligraphy, which is a much thicker pen tip, I would click calligraphy and then I can see that obviously it's gone much thicker. So that's what that's going to look like. But for this one, I am going to go ahead and use the glitter gel pens because I love those. And I'm going to pick a violet because purple is my favorite color. So there you go. I've got my text. The only other thing that I want to do at this point is I want to make sure that I attach it. So I'm going to go ahead down here and click on the attach button. So now my text is all attached. Okay, so at this point I need something to write on. So I am going to add just a square, nothing. And to make the square fit what I want, I'm going to click on this uh, lock. I'm going to unlock it. And this gives me a lot of flexibility to make this exactly the shape and the length that I want it to be. So I need to make it a little bit bigger. I'm going to drop it down. Okay. So then I'm going to lock that back up. And I am going to right click on this and I'm going to send it to the back. So for sake of visual, I'm going to change this color to red. So I've got red and purple. Now if I were to go ahead and just click make it right now, you'll see that the two things are separated. So my font is going to be on a different mat than my, my cutout. That's not what I want. I want to make sure that they're combined so that the font is writing exactly where I want it to be on this cutout. So I'm going to click cancel on this. So what I need to do from here is I'm going to go ahead and select all. I'm going to select those two. And then I am going to attach them. And when I attach them, it makes it so that this whole piece now is going to stay still. Now if I looked at it again and I said, oh, I don't like it's not even, it's not centered the way I want it. I can just easily detach and then move this where I want it to be. But I'm pretty happy with where that is. So I'll select it all and then I'm gonna go ahead and attach. Now it's time to make it. So click make it. And you'll see I'm on one mat and I've got the writing there, perfect. So then when I click continue, now is when we have to get ready with our machine. Now it's going to connect to my machine. 
And while it's connecting, I just want to point out over here, it's telling me that this both has the draw and the cut feature. So now I need to select my materials and I am just going to be using medium cardstock on this. So I've got it. It's a favorite of mine. So I'm just going to select medium cardstock. And then it's going to tell me to load tools and material. It's going to tell to load this pen and then to make sure that my fine tip blade is also loaded. So on my machine, I am going to go ahead and load in the A feature my pen. And I hear that click and I'm going to close it up. So I am all set in terms of my blade and my pen in place. My machine is blinking at me. So I'm going to go ahead and load my mat, which has a piece of paper on it. And then it's time for me to click go. So the maker is going to read what what is in there. It's going to read the blade and it's going to read the pen. One of my tips is I do always test out my pen before I put it in. This way I know that it's writing. Uh, it's not going to miss that very first bit while it kind of comes back to life. And I also recommend storing pens so that they are um, upside down. This way the ink doesn't drain all the way to the bottom and then when you go to use it, it's kind of not in the right spot. So those are just a couple of tips. So we are done. I'm going to go ahead and unload the mat. And remember, you want to flip your mat. I'm going to actually, first I'm going to take my pen out and I'm going to put the cap on and then store it away because I don't need that anymore. I'm going to close up my machine really quick. Now, when you take paper off a mat, it's best to flip the mat and then pull back. This way your paper doesn't end up curling or ripping. And again, same with this. I am going to just feed that through. And there you have it. There is some beautiful text on top of a piece of paper.